Okay, so to learn web development, the only things you really need are a computer and an internet connection. That's it. Uh, if you really want to go crazy, download Google Chrome and download a text editor like Sublime Text. But in reality, that's it. Once you've got all of those things done, you're off to go. But say you now have all those tools, well, what do you do with them? Um, you don't need to pay a lot of money to be a web developer. Honestly, everything you can learn, you can find online for free. So in this video, I'm going to be just running through all the resources that I've used um, during my process to become a web developer and why I think they'll help you too. So the first one here is Code Academy. This is where I first came before I knew anything. Um, it's where I came to learn the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And that's exactly what I did. So I came here, I did the Learn HTML course, I did the Learn CSS course, and I did the Introduction to JavaScript course. But since I've used this website and I've just come in, I've seen they've added so much more stuff. You can now learn AngularJS, you can learn React here, uh, Introduction to Alexa, that looks awesome. So just know, and this is all free, all these courses are free, they do have a paid section but they still have a ton of information, a ton of interactive courses that are free. The next resource I would recommend is Free Code Camp. So if you come here and you just uh, hit the map section, I've never signed up for Free Code Camp. I've never done any of the courses here in a um, set way, but I use this resource really heavily when I was practicing for interviews, when I was practicing um, my knowledge and just going back over and seeing if I'd learned stuff. So you can go through here and you can go into every section and see what the challenge is. And you know, you can either work through it step by step or you can just come and pick and choose like I've done. This is also another great place to come and find projects to work on once you have a little bit of knowledge going. Because um, obviously each one of their modules here have projects to work on. So if you think you've got to the point where you can do that, then you can come here and you can work on these projects too. When I first started out, um, obviously at the same time as I was studying practically, I also wanted to get a bit of a better background of what JavaScript actually is as a programming language. And I was kind of led on to this book, which is called Eloquent JavaScript. Now it's completely free of charge. You just come here and you can download it all the way down here at the bottom. You've got a ton of different uh, versions uh, that you can download. And it's got basically the best introduction I've read to vanilla JavaScript. Now it's a bit heavy, it's a bit technical in places, but if you read it at the same time as you're learning, then it's a great resource to have. And then more importantly, it's free of charge. There's no need to go out and buy a really expensive textbook when you can get something uh, I think is better quality for free. And uh, when it also comes to money, uh, if you go here on YouTube to this channel, this is CS50, which is Harvard University's Introduction to Computer Science course. Now, Harvard, obviously, we all know what Harvard University is, but the fact that they give out their inf Introduction to Computer Science completely free of charge, I think is amazing. So when I was first starting out, I came here and I watched the lecture about JavaScript, and I also watched the lecture about algorithms. So it really helped cement some, uh, some concepts for me, and I'd love to, if I have the time, to come back and be able to watch all of these lectures um, just to get a bit of a better understanding for the more computer science side. But once again, it's a Harvard course here on the internet completely for free. This is JavaScript 30, which is a program that's been built by a guy called Wes Boss, who's a bit well known on the internet of being a bit of a JavaScript guru. But more importantly, it's a completely free of charge. All you need to do is just put your email in and you get a link to the course to download it. But it's really cool because it's he's got a load of videos, instructional videos about how to go ahead and complete all the challenges. And this is a great way to learn JavaScript by doing. So I've done a couple of these. I haven't done all of them, um, but it's a really cool way to learn JavaScript. And I really think it's really cool that he gives all this information out free of charge. So now if you head over to Reddit, <laughs> you, there's two subreddits that I really like to uh, peruse every now and again. One of them is web dev, um, and it's a great place to come and sort of find information, kind of find, keep up with the news of what's going on in the web development world. Um, I found a couple of great tutorials here and a couple of great articles about how to learn new techniques. 
Um, but it's just a really cool place to look. And uh, it's kind of, this is what I do in my breaks at work when I'm not working. I come here and I kind of uh, just read some articles and see what's going on in the world of web development. But this subreddit, Learn JavaScript, is a really great place to come and find good tutorials. Now, obviously, the nature of Reddit being that the better something is, the more upvotes it's going to get, the higher the top. So you can rest assured that a tutorial seeing here is going to be of good quality. And it might not be the standard come in and build a to-do list with me or come in and build a calculator with me. You're going to find a bit more in-depth stuff here. So it's a really great place to come and sort of learn by doing. Now, this website is W3Schools. You've probably found it if you've Googled a problem. And my number one thing with this website is regardless of whether people say it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's outdated, it doesn't matter. I personally still use this website every time I'm building something. And it's usually for this page that I come to to find out how to write a date function in JavaScript. Um, it's still the quickest and the best place that I found to come to just for the basic functions, the basic inbuilt JavaScript functions. But they also have so much more information here, especially about J uh, jQuery and CSS or different CSS selectors. Um, it's a great resource, completely free of charge. And it also teaches you the official web way of doing things, which I think is really cool. Now, this website is the Odin project. I haven't again i haven't done it myself i haven't worked through the curriculum myself but i've kind of dipped into parts of it here and there and the best way i can describe it it's like a boot camp free of charge like the odin project is a real best way of describing just chucking yourself in at the deep end head first it's like if you come into the web development curriculum for example all these links are just basically a guideline to you about what you should be doing but they don't give you any pointers. They don't give you any tutorials. They don't tell you how to do anything, which I think is the best way to learn because in the real world, nobody's gonna be holding your hand, showing you how to do every single thing. Like in reality, you're gonna to have to be Googling a lot. You're gonna to have to be finding your own information out. And that's what the Odin project kind of teaches you to do. So don't come here expecting to find tutorials, but come here expecting to find great ideas of what you should be doing and a great curriculum to sort of build yourself of what you think your learning process should be. Now, this website is the Jennifer DeWalt blog. And basically, I found it when I was first starting to program. And it was an amazing resource for me because basically I had here in front of me a website of 180 different projects that somebody had built over 180 days in JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So I found it as a great inspirational resource to not come in and copy one for one, but to come in and look at something and go, oh, that seems like a really cool idea. I wonder if I can build that myself. There's more times on this site that I've come in and I've said, oh, I wonder if I can build that. And I found out very early on, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I go back to square one, but it's a really great place to come in and see like, okay, I mean, look at the text scroller, for example. And I just take a second for it to load. Like here, I can type in a load of text, hit submit, and it starts scrolling across the screen. So how would I build this myself? I don't want to come in and copy this, but it's a great way to sort of work out how to do things for yourself, kind of like the Odin project. And then on that note, if you don't know anything, Stack Overflow, you're not the first person to want to know how to do something. You won't be the last either. But if you have a question or you want to find out how to do something, then Stack Overflow is really a great resource. I, this is a video in itself about how to use it. But say, for example, you want to find a random point in an array. I don't know how to do that, but somebody on Stack Overflow has already asked that. Somebody has already answered that. And you can very quickly use this resource to build up your knowledge outside of any of these sort of more frameworky, more tutorial type based things. Here at Stack Overflow, they give you real world examples of how to solve problems. So that's my list of free um, resources to learn web development. If you have any other suggestions, then please leave them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to see anything that you guys are working on. And uh, I'll have another video out soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.